Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. This is a series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go hunting through the packs looking for creatures of the same tribe. We'll also be taking a look at some patron mail from Mr. Bevers. So curious what he has for me today, and today's patron is Webbles Wobble. Thank you for being a patron. And this is an awesome card here. So you might recognize this guy from War of the Spark. We have God Eternal Kefnet. Legendary creature zombie god. It's a mythic. 4-5 for 4 with flying. You may reveal the first card you draw each turn as you draw it. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery card this way, copy that card. And you may cast the copy. That copy costs 2 less to cast. And when God Eternal Kefnet dies or is put into itself from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library, third from the top. So we are looking for zombies and gods today. And the packs here, I've got some War of the Spark, so we'll be cracking a bunch of that next month as well. So keep your eyes peeled. And the patrons also get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. And you'll notice the playmat is Kefnet before he was zombified as part of Nicole Bolas' fiendish plan. Starting off here, we have Goblin Assault Team, Ironclad Crovod Shriek Diver. So we've got a zombie bird warrior, we'll chuck that in. Snare Spinner, Davriel Shadow Fugue, Thunder Drake, Sarkhan's Catharsis, Vraska's Finisher, Saheli's Silverwing, Bloom Hulk, Uncommon's Leyline Prowler, Liliana's Triumph, Angrath's Rampage, and yes, Jace, Wilder of Mysteries, welcome. So a legendary Planeswalker Jace, four loyalty for four. If you draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. So the game plan's pretty much to mill yourself. His plus one target player puts the top two cards of the library into their graveyard, draw a card, so you can target yourself there. Minus eight, draw seven cards, and if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. Awesome pull. And a planes and zombie army. There we go, so a token zombie army. D&D &D does have some gods in it, believe it or not. And a bunch of zombies too, I'm thinking. So this, uh, they've slain a dragon or something. They're bringing it back. Uh, Grim Bounty. Let's see, we'll pop him over here. And a swamp. Neverwinter Dryad Showcase Swarming Goblins, Brazen Dwarf, Earth Cult Elemental, Battle Cry Goblin. You see a pair of goblins, Intrepid Outlander, Swarming Goblins. Didn't we just get that? Yes. Okay, enough with the goblins. No, it's never enough. We have Kalein Reclusive Painter and Gelatinous Cube, Creature Ooze 4 3 for 4. As in golf, when it enters the battlefield, it's all target non ooze creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield, has dissolved for X and black. Put target creature card with mana value X exiled with gelatinous cube into its owner's graveyard. Along with a foil Delver's Torch and nothing from the list in that one. Okay, Kaldheim. Absolutely lousy with gods here. And is this a list pool? I think it is. We have Hu Tao Honored Physician. Okay. So that's looking like a commander card, I think. If you can uh, recall that set symbol, leave a note in the comments. Here's one of the gods. Yawn God of Winter. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Also chuck in the... Volatile Fjord, Immersturm Raider, Tuscary Firewalker, Vault Robber, Runamuck, Breakneck Berserker, Hedgy Mob, Trolled, yes, Agar the Freezing Flame, Sutland Frostpire, and Reckless Crew is rare. Source 3 for 4, create X, 2 1 Red Dwarf Berserker Creature Tokens, where X is the number of vehicles you control. 
plus the number of equipment you control. For each of those tokens, you may attach an equipment you control to it. And Frost Peak Yeti Foil Dread Rider. And that is it. Yeah, because we got the list pool. Of course, D&D. &D. Let's see some God Pools. Let's see some list pools. No, no trolling here. We have Warrior's Lesson. Okay, so I've pulled that one from the list a bunch of times as well. This is no idea. It is a mountain, apparently. I could have just guessed that. We have a forest purple worm showcase, price of loyalty, sepulcher ghoul, and that's a zombie deadly dispute. I think that's still over a buck or chuck it in. Blink dog. Wild Shape, Druid Class, could be over a buck, I'll throw that in. Green Dragon, and Chaos Channeler. And the rare is Cave of the Frost Dragon. It's a land if you control two or more other lands. Cave of the Frost Dragon enters battlefield tapped, tap it for white, and for four and a white. It becomes a 3-4 white dragon creature with flying until end of turn. It's still a land, that is awesome. And a Foil Rangers Longbow. And again, I keep forgetting I'm getting list pulls. It's so unusual. Okay, Kaidheim. No list pull in this one. I can see right away. It's one of those dumb uh, birds that Elrond's Epiphany uses. Uh, this is Arnie Brokenbrow. Along with an Alpine Meadow. Shimmer Drift Veil, Frost Peak Yeti, Frostbite, Pilfering Hawk, Berg Strider, Litjara Kinseekers. It's a shapeshifter with changeling. This card's every creature type, so it's also a zombie god. Litjara Glade Warden, same deal. Litjara Mirror Lake. Is that over a buck? I'll throw it in anyway. And Elvish Warmaster. Is the rare creature elf warrior 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever one or more other elves enter the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn, and for 5 and 2 green elves you control, get plus 2, plus 2, and gain death touch until end of turn. Another rare, yes! Valkyrie Harbinger, creature angel cleric 4-5 for 6, flying and lifelink at the beginning of each end step. If you gained four or more life this turn, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. And a foil God's Hall Guardian. And the bird, of course. He's flipping us the bird. Okay, War of the Spark. Let's go for a Mythic Planeswalker. I know we're going to get at least one Planeswalker in this pack because every pack of War of the Spark has one. Mostly uncommon, so we have Spellkeeper, Weird, Uncrop Invader, Zombie Minotaur Warrior, Primordial Worm, Lazatet Behemoth, Zombie Hippo, okay then, Lorun Enforcer, Defiant Strike, Mana Geode, Thunder Drake, Charmed Stray, Vraska's Finisher, Challenger Troll, I forgot he was in this set, that is fun. Invade the city. Oh, there's our planeswalker. Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. I like how the artwork bleeds into the border there. And Storov Divkaran Lich is the rare legendary creature. Zombie Elf Wizard. At least it's on theme. 5-4 four for 4 with Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, return to your hand. Target creature or planeswalker card in your graveyard that wasn't put there this combat. And a mountain and wizard token. Okay, so that wraps it up. Did pretty well with the uh, zombies there. And of course, we got the Jace. I don't think Jace is a high end planeswalker in this set, alas. Okay, Mr. B, check him out. YouTube channel in the corner. Cracks, packs, gameplay, top bloke. Go and watch and subscribe. Tell him MTG Unpacked sent you. Alright, so I'm a patron of his channel. And so I get a bunch of cards each month. It's a very exciting time. I like to do these uh, with the Commander Snacks, which tend to be little shorter videos. 
Okay, so let's look at these first. So usually these are like commons or uncommons. We have Lightfoot Rogue, Crossroads Candle Guide, Genju of the Falls, Dead Reveler, Gideon's Law Keeper, and Appetite for Brains. That is delightful. I'm wondering if the, <coughs> that one made the cut in my uh, Creepiest Magic Cards video. Link in the corner in case you've missed that. Okay, we've got a foil here, Prodigal Pyromancer. Not too shabby. And then the blue, I think, is uh, common or uncommon worth a buck or more, which is quite a challenge to find these days. We have Gorgon Flail. That's awesome. M10. I don't think I've ever seen that card before, so that's always fun. And then red, I think, uh, rares or mythics. Uh, he does this live stream every month where he has these huge boxes and does the uh, random pull. So it's always fun to see what you get. We have Well Wisher. Okay, so this one is from the list. We've got Ugin's Insight. Ugin and Jace. There we go. And Grenzo's Rebuttal. And whenever you mention Grenzo, he's a goblin, so I am happy... All right, so there we have it. Thank you very much, Mr. B. Go check him out. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.